Hi everybody, this is Shane from Math is Fundamental and I wanted to put together a video here to show you how to do a trick that I learned this past year that has been really invaluable to me. Um, if you've ever put together a slideshow in Kino or put together something that has some images and pages, you've probably come across uh, this common problem. A lot of times when you put to in, drop in a, uh, an image like this Instagram picture or this uh, avatar that I have created of myself, um, you're, you get this background which is kind of annoying and it conflicts with your background. In this case, you know, uh, a lot of times in the past what I would do is I would just change my background to white so you couldn't see this white background or something like that. But sometimes if you have something like this where there's a gradient, it would still show and it, it didn't look very good. Keynote and Pages and actually Apple Preview all have a feature in it that is really, really awesome. And when I discovered it, I was so excited, as simple as it is. Uh, and it allows you to get rid of uh, a solid background like this. Now, as somebody who has worked in Photoshop before, I always loved that feature in Photoshop. So I was glad to see that they added it as a feature in some of uh, their products too. And it's really easy to use. First thing you need to do is you need to click the image that you want to remove that background for. And then you're going to click the tab over here on the right that says image. And then there's a button here that says instant alpha. And when I click that instant alpha, uh, I get, once I go, go over the image, I get this little um, pointer that will show me exactly what I'm selecting. Whatever that pointer is on is the color it's going to choose. You can see it's kind of zooming in. If your background is solid, like solid white, like this Instagram one is, it's real simple. All you have to do basically is click on that color that you want to remove. So if I click on the white here, you can see it, it removes some of that. And I can, I can keep clicking it like that if I want and keep removing a little bit more and more. Now, um, a better way to do this is to click and hold and you see it says 0%. That's, in other words, that's probably picking exactly the color that I first clicked on. But if I drag up, it goes 2%, 3%. It goes uh, and looks for kind of similar colors. And the more I drag, the more it gets outside of that color. Now, if I drag it too far, eventually it's going to start picking every color in that image. So I don't want to go too far. But if I go, you know, somewhere in here, I can see that I basically chose all of that white color that's around that Instagram camera. If I select it, or I release that, that is, and then uh, I click done, you'll notice that it has removed all that white background around my camera. All right, so I, I chose this in, image here as well because it has kind of a gradient, so you'll be able to see how it's choosing those colors a little bit. The top of this background is kind of white, and the bottom is kind of a very, very faint blue color. So if I click instant alpha, oh, I gotta click the image first, instant alpha, and then I'll choose the white first. You see it gets all the white area, and then as I drag up, you can see it's getting more of the, the lighter blue colors. And then once I, I've got what I want, I can click done. And now I have my little character, my little avatar here with no background. That looks a lot better that way. Um, something you'll come across sometimes, um, I chose this logo from the great people at Teaching Trio. Um, if I select that image and I click Instant Alpha, you're going to see it's not going to get inside of your image a lot of times. See how inside my letter G, I might have to go and, and select each of these uh, individually, but it, you know, it does that pretty nicely. That's why it zooms because a lot of times it's really, you know, it'd be tough for me to click right inside that space. Uh, I didn't quite get all of that. Well, you get the idea. So uh, once I've clicked on, you can see that where I had white background, now it is see-through so I can see that black background that I did. So it's a great tip. Uh, it works very similarly in pages. There's uh, an image tab in pages, and there's also a way to do instant alpha in preview as well. So I uh, encourage you to check that out. It's a, it's a great thing that I use all the time and hope you can find it useful too.